Hello, amazing friends and family of the internet. So let's discuss these yellow green flames at Texas Tech that happened about five days ago. No, they literally don't know what this is, but I think we might. So let me give you a little back history. You folks helped me raise money to have our snow that fell across South Louisiana tested. They found high levels of zinc. Zinc. They also found that the calcium carbonate alkalinity was extremely high. And the real kicker was that snow came back positive for high levels of zinc. You heard me right, zinc. Okay, so when you think about these green flames in Lubbock, Texas, first thing, did it snow in Lubbock, Texas the same time that it snowed here in Louisiana? You have to ask that question and the answer is yes. Yes, it did. So I'm not that far from Lubbock, Texas, folks. It's the same snow that fell here in South Louisiana. So when you think about that, it makes you go, huh, I wonder if that snow possibly, as it melted, ran the zinc down into the manholes and underground and possibly sparked that fire because somebody told me that they heard another video with a gentleman that was talking about this and he believes zinc could have been what caused that flame and then the explosion. Now, I'm gonna let you listen to him and he says he thinks maybe a student did it, but he did not have the missing piece of information that we here at Starkey Farmstead have. And I don't know why not, it's all over the internet, but what I'm saying is he obviously had not seen our video on our snow results or even realized that it had snowed in the same place that this explosion happened. So could it be zinc that caused that explosion? Yes, listen to him as he explains. Unusual happened last week, but it all started with this green fire that happened at Texas Tech University in uh, Lubbock, Texas. Violent green flames shooting out and it's actually moving the manhole back and forth. So that tells me that, you know, it's uh, it's got a lot of pressure to it, perhaps, you know, even a decent amount of fuel. Now it looks like a gas fire, but it's got a green flame. And that green flame is, uh, it can't be too many different things. Uh, I did a little bit of research and it could be zinc. And there's also a combination of zinc with an incendiary that I won't mention here on YouTube that is capable of producing these green flames, uh, especially when it comes into contact with water. So there is a mixture of zinc powder with an incendiary that can be activated by water. So I kind of, I kind of think this could be a gas fire. I doubt that it's electrical fire, but it could also be a chemical fire, uh, more specifically chemical arson of some sort using zinc powder. Um, so like but, I said before, I read every single one of you guys' comments. It matters to me what you have to say. You guys are brilliant. I didn't even know what valley fever was until yesterday. And now I find out that there's an explosion most likely caused by zinc in Texas and that it snowed in Texas. Wow, you guys are on top of it. But I need to ask a favor. If you guys would pray about supporting our channel and helping us raise awareness of what is actually happening in the world, we would be so appreciative. We cannot reapply to be monetized until mid-May. Got a lot going on with my young adults and even a dollar from every one of you would make things so much easier. So now we know that zinc was causing issues in Texas also. Now that's not the only reason that manhole could have caught fire. It may be something totally different, but by their own admission, they don't have a clue what caused that manhole to explode. Folks, what they are spraying on us is toxic. And yes, it, we're going to see more and more problems. We're going to see hotter burning fires. We're just going to see the weather do the most crazy, insane things that it should not be doing. Because let me explain something to you. When they cloud seed, they can make it rain when it wasn't supposed to by making the clouds heavy, so to speak. But really what cloud seeding is, is stealing water that was supposed to fall a few miles away and make it rain sooner. 
they do not create new rain. They're forcing it to rain out of sync with how the earth works, which is why some places are seeing that they've not had rain in years, but you look next door and they're just cloud seeding away. So basically folks, they're stealing your rain. So like, comment, subscribe, share this video. It's time to wake the world up. I will also link the other video content creator in description. You can feel free to go watch their entire video. But here's the thing. There's more information out there and sometimes content creators don't dig. They're not like me. They don't listen to you guys because I know y'all and I know y'all probably said, oh wow, Sarky Formstead had zinc on their farm and they had their snow tested. It's not that far from Texas, but you guys are very unique. Please continue to put your comments in the videos, guys, because I do read them and I do listen to you. And if I accidentally snap back, it's because sometimes I read so many comments and I can't always determine what you're trying to say. So take your time in writing your comments and I will be a little nicer. Love you guys.